It's the second trip in an adventure series where I want to challenge my mates to get out and do stuff. We're heading to a cattle ranch to learn how to be jackaroos. That's an Aussie apprentice farmer. Kangaroos, horses, sheep, dirt and dust, Australia. We've spent the day travelling five hours north of Sydney, the second trip in an adventure series where I want to challenge my mates to get out and do stuff they may not consider because of their disability. Howdy partners, I'm Curtis. G'day mate, I'm Cameron. And hey ya, I'm Christy, and we're in Tamworth, the home of country music. We're not quite in the outback, but it's remote. We're heading to a cattle ranch to learn how to be jackaroos. That's an Aussie apprentice farmer. We're not alone. We're mucking in with a bunch of international backpackers living in a shearer's shed. Oh, home sweet home. So five star accommodation again, Curtis. So what do you guys think? The ranch covers 1,280 acres, or 517 hectares. It's hilly terrain, so most of the work is done on horseback, which could be a big challenge for the three of us. Christy has cerebral palsy in all four limbs. Cameron uses artificial legs and only has partially formed hands. Mine aren't too flash either, and quadriplegia means I have no strength in my trunk muscles, so poor balance. When I was researching this, um, there were so many different jackaroo courses that you could do. A lot of them were five star and would have cost us thousands and thousands of dollars. I emailed a couple of them, they didn't want to know us. Too hard basket, you know, and I got hold of Tim, who owns this place, and he was like, yeah mate, I reckon we could do that, no worries. Our apprenticeship as jackaroos begins with learning the basics. We start off with a natural horsemanship lesson. And then uh, after the natural horsemanship lesson, we'll give you a shoeing demonstration. Um, after that, everybody will have a little go at uh, cracking a whip. And at the end of the day, shoes, we catch a sheep and, uh, and slaughter it for dinner. Christy's day, going uh, to just love that. This trip is potentially embarrassing for the three of us. Three disabled tourists among a bunch of eager wannabe cattle hands. We're not sure how we'll be received. <laughs> We're worried we'll hold everyone up and disrupt the week. Hey, I'm Cameron, I'm from New Zealand. Yeah, if you combine Christy's good hands with my height, I suppose, and Curtis's uh, brains, <laughs> we'd, I reckon we'll be able to accomplish most things or find a way around them. Hi, I'm Christy, I'm from Christy New nearly well. didn't join us on this um, trip. Her surgeon has real concerns well as she takes a fall. Horses, but I've had major hip surgery since last time I've ridden, so that should be quite interesting experience. Yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> last time she rode a horse, a pin fell out of her leg. We're basically just going to try and do as much as we can and, and um, have some fun doing it. So, um, yeah, thank you. I'm not expecting to be able to do a hell of a lot. Um... I'm going to give everything a real good go and um, I'm going to try not to get too uh, angry about the stuff that I can't do. They start by assessing our horse riding skills. We'll be helping on a cattle muster later on in the week. Cameron wasn't saying much. On the way here, he hinted that riding a horse would be a big challenge. Christy, we're going to give you Tiny, should be easy for you to get on. And Cameron will give you Monday. The guys will take you around and show you those horses. So. Then you can just lead them over and we'll do a bit of stuff on your own. Cool. Sweet. Crispy. Tell them where to see. Tell yeah. where to see. Yeah. Right. Just in case I forget who I am. It's the best way. We insisted we didn't want any special yeah, yeah. treatment. We wanted to be independent. <laughs> Might not have been our smartest right. move. This is Monday. He is one of our oldest horses. And if you want to wait here until everyone else is done and then we're going to walk down to the arena. It's a red-headed horse, mate. Hey, gang of boy. Already, I was feeling slightly out of it. We decided there was no way I could get up on a horse. Cameron's worried about taking a hoof in the head. What about catching a boot or if I fall over and land by his feet? What about holding on to the reins? That should be all right, because um, what I did when I did riding for the disabled was I looped the, the, um, the reins around my arms. And that was it, just once around. 
I'm hoping that's enough. Tim seemed happy with it anyway. What legs are you going to use? Short legs, definitely. Why? With my big legs, it'll be too difficult to... I won't have enough control over them. Hello, you. Look at you, almost independent. <laughs> I think so, but... We've all met Tiny earlier in the day. Hi, Tiny. She's a bit sweet. I'm pretty sure it's a she. I haven't been down to check. But, um... She seems pretty docile, which is what I like. I reckon you might be able to climb up in my chair and I could help you up. Yeah? Yeah. Cameron can um, grab your arm and take your other arm. We'll get you on. We'll get on? Yeah. So jealous. Little white pony. <laughs> Look at you, mate. Full of confidence now, eh? Oh, wouldn't say that, go that far yet. Still got to manage myself down little bumps as well as a horse. Okay. These are working horses, used to being ridden by jackaroos. Cameron's even nervous about leading his horse in case it bolts on him. We're told you need to show them who's boss. I'd organised a quad bike, but it hasn't turned up yet. Okay, you direct me where you want me. Yeah, me too. Okay. Christy's hips are stiff, so she can't easily swing up onto the horse. So I've to stick. Do you want your other arm on? I got you. I won't look up. <laughs> no, you want to. Over. Do you want me to keep pushing? Yeah. Christy had real reservations about joining us on this trip. Our last adventure, a week in the bush, took her too far yeah. out of her comfort zone. Christy's on a horse. <laughs> the thought of roughing it again had her virtually hiding under the office desk. How does that feel? Feels alright actually. It's a bit of ankle down. Well, hey, are you thinking about how you can get on? Yep. Good. As well as feeling like I want to get on. <laughs> Already it was becoming obvious that Cameron was going to have real challenges here. So what about if we get Rob to help? Yeah, definitely yeah. going to need some help. Okay, Rob. Man yes. on the spot. Yes. Can you give us a hand to get Cameron on? Yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Legs off first. Okay. Go from there. Sit on my lap. Take your legs off. <laughs> Normally, you'd use your lower limbs to balance. Cameron is more comfortable without his artificial legs. Okay, what's the plan? Um, your arm, strong arm there. And I'll put my leg in there. I think. Oh, just lift you up a bit. He's on, but he's just teetering. Stay there, Monday. <laughs> Leave him to it. I think it's going to be a lot harder on Curtis compared to Melbourne. You know, I felt like the week one in Melbourne, and I think Curtis is going to. I think it's going to suck for him that he can't get up on a horse, really. I know what it, what it feels like to be that high up. Is the, um, One of my main concerns is, you know, the higher you are, the further it is to fall. How do you make him stop, by the way? Do you just pull back? Uh, yeah, you just uh, pull the reins. Yeah. At the point that you want to go back, you just pull your hands back up towards you, trying to sit on your cock sticks. Pulling him or just yeah, the reins? Yeah, pulling the reins, yeah. The jackaroos have no experience of disability but they're all willing to think up ways around our difficulties. So stopping and backing up, it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, if you go forward, yeah. the first can, thing um, is think, think about going forward. Yeah. It's the main thing. And then you click. And then you start. There you go. Seems to be doing what I want him to so far. The reality is setting in, and I usually bounce back pretty well from setbacks, but actually getting here and being surrounded by, you know, everybody riding horses and me not being able to do it, that really sucks. Yeah.